VLC taking Harrison Hacks ported retro pie build for the Windows computer and changing it up, adding some things to it. Looks like he added some GameCube, some Wii, uh, Nintendo Wii U, just to kind of get this started for you, some systems. And uh, to show you that you can, a PlayStation 2, that you can port over RetroPie and still have a RetroPie experience with a mini PC, your own home computer, you could buy a refurbished computer, it really opens the doors to a lot of potential. So on first boot, you can see it runs great. You can run it windowed or full screen. Just launch the file from windowed or full screen. Do not click the emulation station uh, button. Click the emulation station launch button full screen. And then it boots up first try. My Xbox 360 controller already worked. But if you want to change your controllers, you just hit start. And then uh, A on your controller, or do you want a yes? And then you can just you know throw in a controller and do your controls right here. Some of the emulators, depending on what the emulator is, may require... Um, some custom controls for that particular emulator, but this is probably going to work for the majority of the games. It's when you get into like Wii U, Wii, GameCube, Nintendo, Nintendo 64, where sometimes you have to do those on your own. Now, something really great about this image is all the MAME and Final Burn alphas were gone through and should be working just fine. So as you can see, he got all his games on there. Final Burn Alpha, ton of Final Burn Alpha games for you. Now, this thing isn't so much a loaded image as I think his his idea was to, you know, get this updated, get it out to the world so that you could see the potential of porting a um, of porting this to the PC and how it unlocks these advanced systems, much more speed. And there's a lot of devices out on the market that you can buy for inexpensive that'll run this no problem at all. Let's go ahead and try a GameCube game, for example. Let's try Super Mario Smash Brothers. And as you can see, my first load on Dolphin, I can go ahead and full screen this. And I need to set up my controls here. So just hit escape. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop. Controls, standard controller configure. And then uh, I just use my gamepad here, click, and then I do A. And then you just gotta do these B, X, Y. Control stick, up, down, left, right. Uh, triggers, L, R, D-pad, up, down, left, right, C-stick, up, down, left, right. All right, uh, let's go ahead and save. Xbox. Got him. All right. I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to see PlayStation 2. Let's try Bloody Roar 3. And then you get out of there. PlayStation 2 running. Let's chase a main game because he said that those all should be running really good. All right, and the controls for Mortal Kombat are working just fine. And no lag in the game whatsoever, running good. Oh yeah! Get out of the emulator. Cool. Mame's working.
All right, good stuff. Works good. Let's go ahead and close out. All right, so there you have it. VLC, like I said, this isn't necessarily a loaded image. This is an image with games for each system, so it's already kind of pre-set up for you. As you saw, some of the advanced emulators like PSP, PlayStation 2, Wii U, Wii, uh, will uh, require you to just update your controller within the emulator, Samu, Dolphin, uh, the PS2 emulator, but everything else is running on RetroArch, and it should be already set up for you, or whatever you set an emulation station should set it up. Once you got your control set up, you can just dump more ROMs in here. You can play it as it is. You know, it still has all the Nintendo games, or not all, but a ton, 467, Super Nintendo, you got 491, Nintendo 64, you've got 217, GameCube, you only got a couple here, and with Wii, you only got a couple, so three, and then two, and then one, and then back to, like, the smaller systems, there's way more games, 348, Game Boy Color, 217, Game Boy Advanced, uh, 383, Nintendo DS, 4, Sega Master System, 196, Sega Genesis should have a ton, 561, Sega 32X, we have 30, Dreamcast is 3, Game Gear is 141, PlayStation is 3, PlayStation 2 is 2, 2 play portables, TurboGrafx 16, 78, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 28, MAME, you got 23, Final Burn Alpha, 337, and Atari 2600, 250. The other thing to note is you can change your themes as well. Uh, he has it on Super Display by Mr. Harris. You can also do some Dwayne Hurst comic crazy. Graffiti theme, Hursty Blue Showcase. I don't think I've ever seen graffiti. Maybe I have. Uh, to show you that you could you know, install new themes, get this all customized to your liking. So there you go. Graffiti theme. Pretty cool. That's nice. Um... And it's running on a computer, so it's fairly inexpensive. Um, another option from LaunchBox or just running standalone RetroArch or Hyperspin. There's just so many options on the market, and a lot of people like Emulation Station. Uh, you know, it runs great, and it's a great, great, great front end. So with all that said, i got to give this thing an A. I mean, it's, it's, it's starting something new. It's only, at, when it's extracted, it's only 36 gigabytes. I think the if you download it, it's under 30 gigabytes for the download. So it's fairly small, easy to pass around, and it really will get a lot of people started. A lot of people will find, just be fine with it, and then other people, it gets you started on the right path. So thanks to um, VLC for putting this out. Thanks to um, Harrison Hacks for getting these ports started. He has a ton of ports. If you guys are ever looking for ported systems, I get that question sometimes, and I always point them in that direction. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.